all of my teachers to come up with, you know, things that they would like to offer to the community. And I, when they come to me with an idea, I also ask them, well, what's the business case? <laughs> um, and then how is this mutually beneficial? And then I let them develop the idea. And then I also invest in the idea. The first thing that you have to do is you have to be very interested in their feedback, right? If they are the first or if they are one of the few or whatever, um, then you can't just, it's sort of like, it's sort of like taking someone and dropping them in and being like, okay, and now you go on doing your, <laughs> doing the same thing that you've always been doing. You, you introduced um, a different, a different, uh, you know, sort of in there. And so I would have an open conversation that says, hey, um, you know, please give me the feedback, you know, um, of what you're seeing and, and how you're experiencing this. And if there are ways in which we can, you know, we can make this uh, more inclusive or make this a more comfortable environment. The, what I always think about, it's always interesting to me. Um, when, I, when I was at Cornell, for example, I saw this at, at Cornell quite a bit. Um, many of the African American um, students came from the inner city, right? Now Cornell is like what four hundred acres of like grassland or whatever, you know. And also, like it, it was just, it's a different environment. It's a different environment from the support structure that exists inside the classroom in the inner city, all the way through to just the the um, uh, the environment itself, and that can sometimes just be difficult for folks. Right. And so being open to hearing, how are you going through this? What are you experiencing? We're very interested in um, we're very interested in learning and growing and making this place uh, more than it's been before is, I think, a big, big part of it. Yeah, I think um, for me, uh, I agree. I agree with what you said. Um, for me, one of the things that we've been implementing in our just course of business is, you know, I have allowed all of my teachers to come up with, you know, things that they would like to offer to the community. And I, when they come to me with an idea, I also ask them, well, what's the business case? <laughs> um, and then how is this mutually beneficial? And then I let them develop the idea. And then I also invest in the idea. So I, it, I pay for photo shoots. I pay for the videographer to film, you know, a quick uh, promo about the about the new, you know, class format or whatever the case may be. We support them by, you know, really promoting them on social media. So, and we and through our newsletter, we we highlight them in um in our newsletter. So we do a teacher spotlight or instructor spotlight. Um, so there are many different ways where we've been able to elevate our 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 teachers in our studio community so that everyone kind of gets to know them. Um, we humanize them a little bit. Uh, it, it's been it's been really, really good. And I want to just make, you know, give a flip comment in a way, you know, my being a black owner doesn't mean that I don't have to deal with diversity issues, right? Like, you know, my staff is heavily, um, heavily black and that's because we have attracted them. Um, so I've been intentional about making sure that I, 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 I get white teachers, you know, and that's not always, it's not always easy, but what I do do, I go and take classes in other studios. Um, those teachers that I do like, I reach out to them. Um, I have friends who are taking classes at other studios and if they give me a recommendation, I reach out to those teachers as well. So that's been part of how we've been able to maintain, create and maintain the diversity of our teaching staff as well as our um, student body. Hey everybody, Jessica Lachance here. Do you want more business education for your fitness studio or wellness business? Subscribe to our YouTube channel or our email newsletters and we'll see you here soon.